Hey guys, John here from Proverbs 27 Nine Fragrances. And uh, today just gonna be doing a quick little unboxing and first impression of a fragrance from a clone brand, which is Armoth. And this is uh, Hunter for Men. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and we'll do a point of uh, view uh, video for this. But if you would go ahead and hit the like button and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That way you're notified every time we upload this sweet smelling fragrance related content. All right, so I went ahead and took off the uh, cellophane. Uh, I have not opened it yet. And we will be doing that all together. Um, I don't have the product information. Again, this just came in the mail. I had actually forgot I'd ordered it. Um, so I'm just gonna do a true first impression here and just kind of show you the packaging and everything. Again, this is Hunter. Um, it's a This is 100 ml and it's an eau de parfum concentration. Um, I have never seen one of these in person. I've seen uh, some reviews on, the one that's more popular uh, is Hunter, um, well, I can't think of the name of it, but I believe it is a maybe a Sauvage clone. Uh, I'll pop it up on the screen. But this is the original. Again, Armoth, manufactured by Sterling Perfumes, or Parfums, excuse me. And it's just kind of a regular cardboard look, okay? You know, what you're seeing is, is what it looks like to me, too. Uh, just kind of a cardboard box. You got the information, the barcode, and the batch code, and all that on there. In case you're wanting the batch codes on your clone fragrances. Um, there is a little bit of a felt-like sticker on the front. Let's get the bottle out. Look at it real quick. Okay, so we've got a, kind of a unique look to it here, kind of an odd shape, kind of a stacked shape. It's got like this leather belt on it that says Hunter. Now this is one of those things where the packaging, I don't think is going to match the scent. Um, Hunter, you're gonna think of an outdoorsy, maybe leathery, woody. No, that's not what this is. This is supposed to be, if you don't know, um, Lacoste White or Blanc or L1212. Um, at least that's what I bought it as. That's what seemed to be everybody said that it was. And I'm, I'm pretty familiar with that fragrance. I don't have a bottle here. It is, that is my son-in-law's favorite fragrance or one of his favorite fragrances. In fact, he just bought himself one and brought it to me and wanted to know why um, it seemed kind of weak. And I told him, I think it's because he got the Eau de Toilette concentration. Now this is an Eau de Parfum, but I believe it's based on the Eau de Toilette version of Lacoste White. And so Lacoste White is a kind of a white floral citrusy fragrance. Um, I would say the closest thing that I have to it is uh, Mont Blanc Legend Spirit. It's very similar to that. You know, musky, citrusy, white florals, soft woods, that kind of vibe. All right, so after the spray there, and did you see that blast? It was a very good blast. Um, so decent to good atomizer there. Again, it's signed on the top, so that's nice. Um, just kind of a funky bottle shape. The cap is is plastic, but uh, it's filled. Let me change something on my camera. All right, yeah, I think I'll have better focus in, uh, now. So, okay, so first blast. Uh, again, it is um, citrusy. Not really aquatic, but musky. 
slightly woody. Maybe a little a sandalwood there, maybe a little cedar, something in that range anyways. Yeah, so to me, what this leans in the same genre of would be, um, what in the world is going on with this lid? So it's got, oh, it's gotta be lined up. That's odd, okay. Um, Mont Blanc Legend Spirit, kind of in that low to Issei range. Um, Aqua Digio, the, the original, uh, it's, it's kind of those. Um, very warm weather, um, friendly. Probably even hot weather. Now this one is, I don't know if you can see it. See that shine? I mean, you can tell it's an eau de parfum. There's a lot of oil in this fragrance. So I'm thinking maybe this one is going to um, maybe be, be better performing than Lacoste Blanc because it it's a three to four hour fragrance at best. But I can say this, it doesn't smell synthetic. It doesn't smell cheap at all like some Armoffs do. Now I like Armoff as a clone house. Um, I think they're a, a good and getting better clone house uh, and fragrance house. I, I think maybe they make some original fragrances. I'm not sure about that. But this one doesn't come across sickening, you know. Um, I believe Ta Armoff is the one who makes Tag Him. <clears throat> if I have that wrong, I'll try to fix it. But that was just a cheap presentation. It kind of had a sickening um, opening to it, very synthetic. You know, it wound up drying down and smelling a lot like Bleu de Chanel, but it just was a very cheap version. There's nothing that smells cheap about this. It smells, to me, just as good a quality as the Lacoste version. So, um, I may come back and do a full review and a side-by-side -side comparison if I can get that bottle from him. I don't want to order a bottle of Lacoste White just for this because I don't particularly need another one that style. I've got this, and again, I've got Lode Issa, I've got Aquadigio, I've got John Barvoto's Art Artisan, you know, Pure. I've got uh, Mont Blanc Legend Spirit, um, and this is not a DNA that I wear a, just a whole lot of anyways. But to my nose and from my memory, it does smell very, very similar to La, Lacoste Blanc. And even if it if it's not a perfect one-to-one, -one, it smells good and it smells high quality. And it's like, I think this was $19 for 100 ml. And Lacoste Blanc is kind of hard to find right now. It's hard to find it in stock. And if it is, you're paying 50, 60 bucks for a fragrance that used to, you could pick up at the rack stores. And maybe you still can where you're at um, for, you know, 30 bucks or so. Uh, so uh, I recommend this if you're wanting something that smells like Lacoste White, uh, or if you want something in that style, but you're just wanting kind of a cheapie, you can spray on a bunch and not really worry about it. Uh, going through your juice, maybe you want to give our moth Hunter original Eau de Parfum a try. Okay, let me know what you think about this fragrance or the ones that it's compared to. And uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, like the video. Till we see you down the road, we say God bless. Frag on, Franklin.